right, we're mines and meadows again. Just started out. Had a nice group of guys today. I have not had a clean start on this opening segment on this bike deck. Catch my breath here, and then I'll talk. That's a pretty gnarly start. <laughs> Okay. So like I said, we're just getting started. Good group today. Jeff and Brian came out. Uh, there's a, a younger guy that's gonna try to tag along with us today. His name is David. But uh, not sure if he's gonna be able to hang just yet because these trails are a little gnarly for the first time through. We'll see. Scott's behind me waiting for him. Jeff got the first fall. So I don't think Jeff and Brian have been riding the winter time. Probably the first ride of the season. Trails feel great today so far. Some spots are wet, but we only had one day of rain this week. Really nothing, nothing to complain about, no excuses. This is good dirt. But if I wreck, I'm gonna blame it on the boat. John's up ahead. First single track ride on the STW. What'd you do, Jeff? My front end just washed out. Did, did you get it, more importantly? Uh-uh. <laughs> I got him. I got him picking up. Like the brake pedal. You doing good? You all right? Good, Ride good. at your own pace. Okay. Yeah. Not a race. Yeah, like none I said, of, none of us like hitting the ground. Like, we all got to go to work at some point. Yeah. All right. So, shifted up the third back there. I'm actually getting third now. 
and at the, at the pace we're riding, third feels good, and this bike can lug it. You can hear the RPMs. It's not stalling. A little more clutch. I know that corner's there and I've yet to hit it clean. So let me comment on the hardware today. So, up in front, John 2024 XCW, 300. Jeff right behind him, 2022 Husky, 300 TPI. Got uh, two more KTMs behind us and a YZ 250X. Nice sampling of bikes. Further proof that all of these bikes are close in capabilities. Just pick the right tires. Focus on your form. I had to slow down so I didn't rear end them. Yeah, that opening trail that we ride on is so rutted out all over the place. It's up a hill. Easy to get goofed up. Kind of got to ride it in here higher, otherwise you're bouncing. On it. The brake squeal is back, so for all you beta riders, tell me what brake pads you're using. I'm assuming e EBC will take care of that. I love that.
third gear pulls better on this than my TPI. I would have been stalled a couple times. Not even close to stalling on this so far. I do have to consider shortening these bars. Well, I've considered it, I just need to do it. It's only my third time on this bike on single track and I really have to just trust third gear more. The hills that I would need second for on my bike, or at least that I felt that I did, um, I don't on this. more I can say about the suspension that I haven't already said. In stock form, it's wonderful. In tune form, I bet it's really amazing. A little more clutch work on that uphill turn for third gear, but good. No clutch would be required in second. This is third. Plenty of pool. cook through here. I mean, third gear we're running and uh, it's pretty good.
remember to ride this bike like my four stroke. It does not require a lot of throttle input on the low end. And if you do, it starts to spin the wheel. So ride it like the 350 at least on the low end. So that happens all the time. I switch to four stroke from a two stroke. I always want to twist the throttle more. Wonder if a solid rotor in the rear will help. Give me some advice, guys. Solid rotor or different pads? Or both. By the way, we collectively here really appreciate the views that we're getting and the engagement people are commenting a lot it's really cool it becomes a nice little community of regular guys riding people are mostly positive i'll say 99 percent positive that's cool uh 
most are like us, evaluating what they want to ride. Don't have the means to have 10 different bikes. So they want to get the best bang for their buck. And so do we. That's why we started YouTubing. Stick on. That's why we started YouTubing. Actually, we started it because we wanted to watch our own rides. And uh, then as it started growing, we realized so do other people. They want to share their rides. So pretty much anybody that subscribes to us, I subscribe back so we can watch your videos. And uh, the only thing, try to keep it clean, try to keep it not political. And uh, you know, something we're proud of to watch with our families. But uh, if you're posting the same kind of content as us, we want to watch it just like you're watching ours. It's really cool. So thank you for that. This season's going to be really fun, you know, with bike comparisons. Geez, we have in our group we have all the bikes covered at least from a 300 perspective except for Sherco the gas gas is the same so I don't really consider that one it's a similar bike and uh these are all good guys that we ride with. We hop on each other's bikes, we give our opinions. It's really good. Got a couple racers in the group. So it's fun. I feel like I'm going for a stroll through here. I'm not really trying to keep up with it. That's a, that's a point to appreciate with the beta. Complete stop, no run up, up the hill. Second gear, minimal clutch. That's what she brings to the table. I've hit a couple of trees with the hand guards. Hey, what's, right. the, uh, what's the button by your fuel filler? Where at? That's the button in front of that one. That's uh, nitrous. Uh, <laughs> that's the horn <laughs> it's the It's the map switch. Oh, okay. Which? I'm getting used to using the second gear. No shit, huh? Like, I'm, I'm not afraid to shift in the second every once in a while because I know I'm not going to take a big dump. Yeah. Um, like, I, like the other What gear are you mostly yeah. running in? Me? Yeah, third. Okay. Oh yeah, third. That's not ninety percent of the time, but like some of the some of the the deep roots yeah. or ruts, even before I would just clutch it through third. Right. And um, and the, the gearing on this is so much better than my old one. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> Did you hear me clicking? Sorry. I'll blame that on John.
the third gear start mid-hill. I suck. Sorry.
I used to have a bike where I feel confident in the forks. Pretty good dirt here today. It's even a little dry in some spots.
The JX250 in front of me. Tyler's riding it. This beta feels nimble, turns really well. Funny. On John's XCW, it's ironic. He says he's found second gear and uses it more. And on this Beta, where I'm coming off of my XCW and use second a lot, I'm using third more. Funny. Probably the same pace either way.
taking damage. I caught a vine between the radiator shod and uh, pulled out the lower the lower part of the radiator shroud so I had to stop and put it together. My carb float is stuck a couple times on this. Mostly when it's on the stand after I'm riding it. I'll see if it's a problem. If it's a problem, I'll take it apart. It, it seems to be fine once I get back on it. It unsticks. I haven't had the car before. I did put a, a main jet in it, but that's just through an access hole in the bottom of the car. Whoa! I sure hope you got that. That was a launch. You okay? weeks ago I'm glad your bike found its way back down the hill yeah. even last time highway. it was last time it was stuck up on the other side look at it it's like Kennywood right here <laughs> you're getting it <laughs> did anybody get that on camera I think so I don't know how far away it was at the top there but that's a badass hill yeah it's all screwed up at the top last time I did it was about a month ago Dude, you got to get a camera on that bike or your helmet. If you're gonna do circus stuff, you gotta you gotta put it on film. Just let it come down. Let it come down. Anything was bent. I mean, it landed pretty hard on the bars. I think. It did, but I don't think it hurt anything. Push the uh, guard down. The guard did its job. Here, get it down on the. Floor. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Got it? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. 
That was epic. Fantastic. <laughs> epic. Hey, this is my bike's first fall. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> it falls on its own. I know. <laughs> I did it one time last year or something. My bike got caught in between that little tree and the big tree right there. Oh, and there was no way we were lugging it up, so I had to bring uh, it all the way back down. Yeah. Like, yeah, see, it got all messed up at the top. You just caught that root, I think, right? Right at the, like where there's a little dip at the top of the hill? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. caught that with your tire, and that's exactly where it kicked up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll have to watch the tape to be sure. What? KTM durability right there. That's it, buddy. 2018. Yes, sir. Shut log, boys.
Okay, we got log in third gear. That's why. I don't have anything to wheel it. There's a KTM in its native habitat on the ground. or we would have done it. <laughs> if I was 30 years younger. Those garter snakes are wicked though. They really are. Is that ground soft? What? Is the ground soft?
boy, I didn't have enough water. My forearm is so cramped right now on the right. Almost missed my turn.
I'm so cramped up. Dawn's too tired. I love it, Dawn. I love it. Oh, the bourbon tonight. <laughs>
today, bud? That was awesome.